I'm Pippa, a Catholic missionary in the UK. I hope that wherever you are, that you're doing okay. I've been asked by Thy Kingdom Come to speak on praise, a funny topic to raise right now, you might think. After the year we've had, surely we want to shrink in on ourselves and say, leave me alone. What's been good, really, you might say with a groan. Well, if you stick with me just two minutes, I'll give you some nuggets on reasons to praise. So join with me. Let's elevate our gaze. When I was younger, I thought it quite odd that the Father, the Son, the Spirit, all God, would call us to worship them, to give them our praise. Why would they need it? Why are they phased about some humans on earth lifting a song? My mind couldn't grasp why we'd add to the throng. Now looking back, I see I got mixed up. There's a difference between a need and a love. You see, God doesn't need me. Before I was born, the Trinity's love was so perfect, so adorned in happiness and hope, they needed nothing more. But God as a father had more in store. He didn't just want angels above seeing holy, 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 God, you are love. He wanted a family, children to be in relationship with him, to join in their company. This is the heart of all praise and worship. I can honestly say I love it to bits, that I get to share and lift my voice. God knows me best and he's given me a choice. Yes, God doesn't need my praise and applause, but his existence, his goodness, his mercy, it draws me into life in its fullness. And that's why I praise. It's an act of the will. God offered me life and he offers it still. It's never a must, but always a can. I get to share life with the almighty I am. So today, why not think about the generosity of God? Think about the fact that your praise is enough. He longs for it, but not because he's insecure. It's for our benefit. Of that, I am sure. Praise helps me live for more than just me. As St. Paul says, what do you have that you didn't receive?